What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Playoffs Tuesday, May 7th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, who do we have at the point guard position? I like Jamal Murray from the Denver Nuggets playing the Portland Trailblazers. Jamal Murray has scored 47, 55, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games of the playoffs averaging 33.3 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 33 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. Jamal Murray is 6,500 DraftKings salary. He's 1,600 more on FanDuel. So I love that DraftKings price. Projected at 37.7 fantasy points here tonight, that's 5.8 times value. There's an implied total of 213.5 points in this game this is a home game, a fast-paced game, and a pretty good matchup. So I like Jamal Murray here versus the Portland Trailblazers. So our DFS tools for MLB baseball are now live and working. You can click on the MLB tab to change sports and check the tools out for baseball. They're really helpful. They're going to save you guys a ton of research time. Remember, we added projected ownership, and that will be updating throughout the day as injury news changes. We also added the fantasy points per minute stat here for each player, and we also added a stat that's new to the industry. We call it the hit percentage, and it's the percent chance this player has to hit value at his current DFS salary. And you can access all these new stats even on mobile devices by tapping the dash rank icon. And we've also added custom exposures. So you can go through each player and set the max exposure you want in your lineups. And we've added a late swap optimizer which allows you to download your lineups from DraftKings or FanDuel, re-optimize them using your custom exposure settings, and then you can upload them back to your DFS site and you can edit as many entries as you want in seconds. This allows you to get a huge advantage over the field when there's late breaking news, like a player announced in the starting lineup, late injury news. This is what the pros are using to take advantage of you. So get in here and try it. Okay, who do we have at the shooting guard position? I like Jimmy Butler from the Philadelphia 76ers playing the Toronto Raptors. Jimmy Butler has scored 52, 54, and 56 fantasy points in the last three games of the playoffs, averaging 36.2 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 34 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. Jimmy Butler is 7,800 DraftKings salary. He's 2,000 more on FanDuel, so this is a DraftKings only play for me. Projected at 38 fantasy points here tonight, that's just about five times value. I think that projection is a little bit low, but Jimmy Butler has been playing out of his mind lately. So he may come back down to earth and only get you a 40 fantasy point game, but that will still be over five times value, and you got the 50 point upside. So I like Jimmy Butler on DraftKings, but at near 10,000 on FanDuel, I think that's a little bit too much. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like JJ Redick from the Philadelphia 76ers playing the Toronto Raptors. JJ Redick has scored 27, 19, and 14 fantasy points in the last three games of the playoffs, averaging 27.4 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 31 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. JJ Redick is 4,500 DraftKings salary. He's 100 less on FanDuel, so I love that FanDuel price. JJ Redick put up 27 fantasy points last game 
and he's projected at 28 fantasy points here tonight. So that's 6.2 times value. You're only asking JJ Redick to get his season average and you're going to get 6.2 times value. There's an implied total of 211.5 points in this game. JJ Redick is a great play on FanDuel. At 4,400, that's almost near your low score drop. So even if Redick goes out there and only gives you 14 fantasy points, you can drop him on FanDuel. I don't even mind taking the risk on DraftKings. I think he gets over 20 fantasy points, and at 4,500, that's not going to kill you. So I like JJ Redick here versus the Toronto Raptors. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, who do we have at the power forward position? So of course guys, at top, Kawhi Leonard. There's not much I can say about Kawhi Leonard. He's playing great. He scored 65, 43, and 56 fantasy points in his last three games of the playoffs. You gotta have some Kawhi Leonard in your life tonight. But take a look at Pascal Siakam for the Toronto Raptors playing the Philadelphia 76ers. Pascal Siakam was sick last game. He only scored 22 fantasy points in 28 minutes. Pascal Siakam has scored 22, 29, and 44 fantasy points in the last three games of the playoffs, averaging 33.2 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 32 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. So I know this is a risky pick. No one is going to pick Pascal Siakam for you today. He's not on the injury report, so I expect him to play full minutes. And Pascal Siakam has 50 point upside. Pascal Siakam is 6,800 DraftKings salary. He's 700 more on FanDuel, and I'd much rather play Pascal Siakam than Paul Millsap on FanDuel. Paul Millsap is actually more expensive than Siakam on FanDuel, so this is going to be an ownership play. I think Pascal Siakam's ownership is going to be low, his price is now low, and he still has that 50 point upside. He's got a great matchup, this is a home game, a fast paced game, so I love Pascal Siakam here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Nikolai Jokic from the Denver Nuggets playing the Portland Trailblazers. Nikolai Jokic has scored 59, 84, and 47 fantasy points in the last three games of the playoffs, averaging 48.8 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 31 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. Nikolai Jokic hasn't played under 37 minutes in the last three games. So he's gonna be out there. He's getting triple doubles left and right. Nikolai Jokic is 10,500 DraftKings salary. He's 700 more on FanDuel, projected at 56.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.3 times value. The Joker's got 70 point upside. And there's an implied total of 213.5 points in this game. This is a home game, a fast paced game, and a great matchup. I love Nikolai Jokic here versus the Portland Trailblazers. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.